Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. We're going to look at some more examples using the empirical rule or the 68, 95, 99.7 rule as some of us call it. So here's our setup for this set. The scores for all high school seniors at a particular school taking the verbal section of the SAT in 2018 had a mean of 490 and a standard deviation of 100. The distribution of SAT scores is bell-shaped and normally distributed. What percentage of seniors scored between 290 and 590? So again, we're looking for this normally distributed phrase to help us know that we're allowed to use the empirical rule. From there, the best thing we can do is label ourselves a normal distribution. So. If we have a mean of 490, that goes right in the middle of our distribution. And then we're going to use that standard deviation of 100 to label up by hundreds and down by hundreds. So here we go. 590 would be one standard deviation above. 690 would be two above. And 790 would be three above. Let's see, down, 390 would be one below, 290 would be two below, and 190 would be three below. All right, so we're looking for what percentage of seniors scored between 290 and 590. That is from here to here. All right, so here we go. Using our empirical rule, we know that from 590 to 390, we've got 68%. And from 290 to 690, that would be 95%. So we need to figure out how much is in this piece right here, or the difference between them, cut in half. So if I take 95% minus 68%, that would be 27%. That's how much is between 290 and 390 and 590 and 690, so I want to take just half of that. Half of 27 would be 13.5%. So we've got 13.5% living here and 13.5% living there. So adding up those pieces from 390 to 590 is 68% plus the piece between 290 and 390 is 13.5. So adding that up, I get 81.5%. All right, with that same setup, let's say one student scored a 795 on the test. How did this student do compared to the rest of the scores? So let's see, where would 795 be on our distribution? Well, I see that 790 is three standard deviations above, so 795 would be just a little bit above that. Remember that the empirical rule says that between 190 and 790, we have 99.7% of the data. That means that below 190 or above 790, there is half of 0.3%. So half of 0.3% would be 0.15% in each of those. Wow, that's not very much. So if above 790 represents only 0.15%, that means that this individual who scored a 795, they did better than, let's see, 99.7 plus 0.15, that would be 99.85. They did better than 99.85% of people. Needless to say, they did very well on that one. 
Let's say we know that a rather exclusive university only admits students who are among the highest 16% of scores on this test. What score would a student need on this test to be qualified for admittance into this university? Okay, well, let's see what we know. We know that above 490 represents 50%. So if you did better than 490, you're in the top 50%. Then above 590, well, let's see. This part right here represents half of 68 or 34%. So 50 minus 34 is 16%. So there we go. Our top 16% had to do better than one standard deviation above the mean. So they needed to score above a 590 to be qualified for admittance to this university. All right, guys, that does it for our second video of examples using the empirical rule. We'll catch you in the next one.